Hi there. This is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about Azure subscription free credits for your Azure subscription. First of all, how to create a Azure account with $200 free credit, which is valid for 30 days. We'll look into the process and we'll check whether you need a credit card for it or not. And then we'll look into a different method where you will see $100 Azure credit for your Azure subscription without any credit card information. How to get it? What are the eligibility criteria for that? And then we will look into the third option to create a Azure subscription to get some credits, etc. Monthly credit of 150 USD you can get if you use the third method. So don't skip the video. Let's go and check it out. So let's look into options to create free Microsoft Azure subscription, Azure account and free credits. Creation of Azure account is always free, but getting credits is a bit tricky one. There are different options over here, which we are going to discuss today. 200 USD credit for 30 days, free services for 12 months and student subscription for 12 months with 100 USD free credit, etc. And we will talk about Visual Studio subscription option also what are the free credits available with visual studio subscription let's go to the next slide now let's look into free credits first option 200 usd free credits when you use your personal microsoft account to sign in and create a azure account the validity of the credit is 30 days when you have the credit you will get access to 55 plus popular services for free but the catch is when you have this credit and some Popular services are free for 12 months. Again, the catch is when you have some credit available. 55 plus other services are always free as you can see, but you need some credit available to use this and you need valid credit card and Microsoft is going to validate that along with your phone number, etc. Let's check this out. Virtual machine windows. This is what device admins need. We need to create one virtual machine and probably we need to do some testing. 750 hours. Even as burstable virtual machines are free for 12 months with this with this option the catch it is only compute not sure about network components and disk components those are not counted here or it is overall virtual machine i don't know let me know in the comments if you already know this and same for some other services for example this service is free for always sql server 2019 developer edition and it is free forever once you create the subscription and azure account then it is free forever but probably you might need to convert your free account after 30 days into pay as you go account then you need to act smartly so that you won't get any charge in your credit card so that act of smartness is going to be a bit tricky because of this compute it is free for 750 hours for 12 months but what about other components which are needed for virtual machines so be careful about this that was the first option let's check the next option this is the option without any credit card validation but the catch over here is it is only allowed for students if you have a edu account student account or you can prove that you are a full-time student in a university or you are doing a three-year course or two-year course etc to Microsoft then they are going to give you 100 USD Azure credit for 12 months this is valid for 12 months in the previous one 200 USD but it was valid only for one month validity of Azure credit is 12 months and there are a lot of eligibility criteria one of them is mentioned over here age should be 18 or above you should be a full-time student and it is available in 140 countries no credit card validation is required that's a good one that is all about the student if you are a student if you want to try it out if you want to build some application if you want to test something from device management perspective then this is the best option for you go with azure for students now another value add option this is for visual studio subscribers if you are a visual studio subscriber you are going to get 150 monthly credit for example enterprise standard and other kind of customers for example enterprise subscription with github enterprise all these customers are going to get 150 monthly credit everything is cost oriented over here so you need to be very careful about costing over here you need to check the cost estimation from azure portal every time otherwise if you convert free to pay as you go 
so that you can take advantage of these services 12 months valid services or always free services and you need to make sure that you have a close look at your credit card bills or cost estimation from azure portal now let's go into the demo and see how to create azure account and how to get 200 usd free credit for your azure subscription etc let's look into the options to create azure account with free azure credits so this is the first site which comes in the search let's open that over here you would be able to see start free button but before starting let's go through this there are different things as we discussed in the presentation 12 months free service and 55 plus services are free for always but there are some catches on these two and start with 200 usd 200 azure credit so if you click on this you would be able to see what are the 12 months thing so you would be able to see the things over here linux missions windows missions compute type we are talking about here not the other things a network card and all that is different and it says 750 hours b1s burstable virtual missions so that is really useful what is the catch over here the catch is that once you run out of free credits 200 usd and it is only valid for 30 days then you need to change the subscription model to pay as you go then only you will get these 12 months free services and 25 plus other services always free okay so that is a catch over there so over here you can see pay as you go and you can see the details over here take advantage of free free products etc create azure account and purchase cloud services pay as you go and then you will get all these free services 12 months always etc if you look at this and if you don't have any other option i think this is one of the good options so if you click on start free you will get redirected to a login page here you need to log in with your personal microsoft account outlook.com or or hotmail.com etc etc so you can log in with that and then you can try to go through the enrollment process and during the process it will ask for credit card details phone number and it will validate both credit card information and phone number so be ready with that let's log in with personal outlook account and then this is the microsoft azure subscription screen where you are going to create a microsoft azure account when you create azure profile it doesn't need to have the same details as your personal personal outlook one so you can have a regular phone number and your primary email id so that you will get all the important information about this azure account if you want otherwise you can use your personal outlook account as well and you need to enter the address and you need to be very careful over here when you enter the address that address need to match with your credit card address and all the details you need to be careful about that information so this profile setting needs to be aligned with your credit card information now you can click on next button if you are fine with all the details you can see the organization name address phone number etc now it is processing now the next step is identity verification by card okay now you need to provide the credit card holders information card number expiry date and CVV details then again the address is already populated because it took the address from the profile click on the sign up button to sign up with Azure and to get the free credits okay the card verification is still going on okay payment method is confirmed now now again you need to click on sign up button over here from this page so confirming your information setting up your account you can provide the feedback over here if you want and now it is redirecting to Azure portal so that means that you got the credit and now you got the azure account and you have successfully logged in and now you have 200 usd credit for 30 days and as you can see i have logged in with the personal outlook account but the email id i provided was different that is my primary email where i will get all the important informations etc now let's check how to create a azure for students account you will get hundred dollar usd credit for 12 months that is the main difference between the personal account one and the student one other than that all the services etc 
Ultra are same. There are some free services as we discussed before, but you need to have some validity or balance in the credit. And for this, there's no credit card required. For students account, there's no credit card required. And Microsoft documentation has a detailed information. What are the eligibility criteria for students? Three years, two years course, full-time students, and every year they need to kind of renew all those process you need to go through to get a Azure for students account. So this is the high level process for getting an Azure for students account. I go through the enrollment process with a student. So you can see I'm signing up with all the students ID, email ID and password and then entering the mobile number. And now I'm waiting for verification code. So let's start entering the code. And then once you enter the code, you click on verify code. It is verifying the code now, confirming your account, it says, and then it goes through the verification and creation process for Azure students account. Now I need to create the student profile for that particular student who is helping me. So the process of profile creation, Azure profile creation is same as personal account, Azure profile creation. So I'm going to pass forward this. There's no credit card information required to get a Azure for students account. So now it's time to sign up Azure for students account. It has populated all the details, organizational details, address. Okay, now it is confirming your information. This is the same page as personal account. Now it is redirecting to Azure portal education overview over there. Go to home page and click on subscriptions. You would be able to see Azure for students subscription over there. So that's very nice. Now if you want to check out what does your spend etc you need to go to microsoft azure sponsorship.com over there you can check your balance you can see 100 usd is available there as a credit now let's look into visual studio subscription and option to get 150 monthly credit for azure from visual studio subscription this is the way to sign in to activate that so that you have seen all the details about three different methods to create azure account and get some free credits you need to remember that there are some azure services which are free for 12 months if you convert your free account to pay as you go account there are some azure services which are free forever and then if you want full blown lab test environment with all the valid licenses and go with visual studio subscription that is going to get you going for all the things even developer account microsoft developer account which we discussed in the previous video you. you can check it out here on the i button in youtube and azure credits all the software downloads windows 11 maybe windows 12 in future and server operating systems all these things you will get it from visual studio subscription so it's a lot of value add over there and all the microsoft employees and microsoft mvps and probably mcts microsoft certified trainers also get visual studio subscription as a complimentary so hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around